concept is getting a bag and busting it wide open and doing it again. You understand me? And welcome back to part two here at 85 Gallery. And what we are doing today is reviewing the most talked about sneaker of the year. These are called the Nike Air Jordan, Chicago Ones, AKA the Lost and Founds. Boom, bam. Here we are with the most talked about sneaker of the year so far. We still got about a month left. Let's see what Nike has in store for us. But as of right now, this is probably rank number one. The whole shoe itself is supposed to be a old, brand new sneaker. And the reason behind the word lost and found is because when you would go inside the mom and pop shops, you would go down in the basement, some of the shoes would have missing, missing tops. And that's where the mismatch top comes from. You see the orange top with the bottom Nike. It's supposed to be a red and black top, but people like me of my descent would just go in and be like, okay, the original top's not here. Let me just take this top and shaboom, slam it on top. Right here, you see this mom and pop style handwritten receipt that they just um, decided to write. The price on it says Air Jordan basketball shoe. The price was $64.99 paid in cash Air Jordan basketball. Let's go and it says final sale. So they gave it that real vintage mom and pop style feeling when you open the shoe, it just drops straight out the box, kaboom, bam. Sandy's Bros, not sure if it's a real store, but they did give you an address. Address is 2323 Jeb Bernhard Way, somewhere in like Kentucky, 41015, crazy. Also told you, established in 1985, which was the first year that Jordan had dropped his Jordan ones. First was the band ones, but obviously they got banned because it wasn't enough white. So that's where these came out. This is like the band part twos, which is called the Chicago ones. So just a close up at the shoe. It's supposed to be a real vintage new look. So what it is, is a bunch of cracked leather right here up front, inside the sock liner. If you know what original 85 Jordan looked like, you know it's missing the size label on the side. But other than that, from the previous years of Jordan's dropping the Chicago ones. Look like it got the same inner sole right there with the Nike Air right here. Right here above on the reverse side of the sock liner, right here by the ankle. It's cracked leather right here. I had questioned the tongue why it's kind of like a more peachy, vintage, old yellow looking tongue. But it looks like when you look inside of it, it looks like the cotton isn't quite yellow, it's more pinkish. And that's why it got like that old, old look. Nike check, still there, they didn't do any, anything crazy to it. But right here on the Nike wings is embossed this round. I know from the previous ones, it's just silk screen layered, but this one is more embossed right here. The bottom, they give you that old moldy look right here. This is actually like you would find on old shoes like this. If you've been in the sneaker game as long as me, you understand what this bottom look like. The midsole is a very popular avenue that a lot of people and a lot of retros are coming together with. They give you like that real vintage, vintage midsole look. A lot of people are doing this thing with their Air Forces and um, dyeing them coffee to get that old ass look. And I guess, you know, times change. Nobody wants to be brand new, pop tag, fresh. Everybody want to be like old, new, fresh. So I guess like the vintage wave is like the new fresh thing right now. But me, I'm just a more of a crispy pop tag type of dude. These shoes dropped November 19th. I know the sneaker app had already gave people early access. So if you did cop them, congratulations. And I hope you do not resell them. And I hope that you are a heavy user of this shoe. This is my sneaker review on the Lost and Founds 1985 Chicago one. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And big shout out to 85 Gallery. Peace, y'all. Perfect.